Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel for another SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball series review. This time we're taking a look at, yeah, you already know, one of my favorite characters in the franchise, in the line, and that is Broly. And this ain't just any version of Broly, this is the newest Broly full power from the Dragon Ball Super movie Broly. And oh my god, is he ever huge. Not that we didn't expect that, because he is a Broly figure, but dang. Hey guys, if you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and definitely ring a ding ding that bell notification button. It helps the channel grow and it helps me bring you guys a lot more. I was kind of skeptical on this guy at first, but now having him actually in hand in the box, I am psyched as ever. But enough of my banter guys, let's get to it. The crack the freshness moment. Oh my god, is this thing ever sick? Straight up guys, like, raw reaction right here. When I passed by this thing at the cons and all that, I was just like, yeah, it's another Broly figure. Ah, at least he's canon now, I gotta pick him up, I guess. Damn though, like, y'all know I'm a big fan of the previous Broly figures, but jeez, this thing is impressive. And I don't know about you guys, but it definitely reeks of that new figure smell. If you have the figure, you probably already know what I'm saying, but jeez, man, like, even, like, the textures, and I don't even know if my camera can pick this up that, that well, but just, wow, man, I'm blown away. I thought this thing was going to look like a huge piece of just blocky plastic, but wow, man, like, jeez. This makes me that much more excited for Wrath Broly coming out later this year. Peep this freshness right here. So like I was saying, guys, this thing is impressive, and again, as a big Broly fan, I was like, okay, cool, I have another Broly in my collection now, but now that I've actually opened him up and have the figure in hand, I am blown away, guys. Even the texture of how they sculpted the fur loincloth is immaculate, and it really does look like it's made of a different material. Now, from a quick top-down scan of the figure, everything seems quite decently proportioned. I mean, yeah, this thing is a hulk of a figure, even copying the color scheme to an extent, Whereas the OG Broly, we saw a little bit more unrealistic disproportionalness, and rightfully so because that's how the character looked. This guy is a little bit more refined, and I have to say, from a frontwards view, the feet don't look too bad. I know some have said they look big and clumsy, but hey, if you pose them right, it won't really even show, and I mean, I'd rather have the figure be able to stand, period, rather than have small boots and fall over. And I mean, let's not overlook the back, folks. They really did a great job on the sculpt, and the contrast between the muscles here is phenomenal. Now, for the paint apps in general, guys, I'm actually killed it here. There is not a single spot on this figure where I stopped and thought, hmm, drop the ball a little bit here. Yes, of course, any figure can be upgraded upon with the custom paint job, but this figure on its own is okay coming out of the box. What's more is that everything flows. It's not like a flesh tone that has too much of a sharpness and contrast to it compared to the rest of the clothing and the hair, the lower body. It's actually meshing very well, and even the scarring on the torso isn't that muted, nor does it look overly characterized either. I think if I had to highlight one sort of moment of curiosity about this figure is the nose. I mean, it's not bad or anything, it's just like, damn, this is probably one of the most pronounced noses I've seen on a figure arts Dragon Ball figure. Definitely one that makes Majin Buu jealous. Now making her way down the figure from head to toe on a closer note here, I think they nailed the proportions. The shoulders aren't too wide and goofy looking, rather it seems much more like actual real shoulders and neck muscles. Granted he's still going to be busting through some door frames, but realistically so. The waist tapers nicely into the lower body and the legs are great as well. He definitely didn't skip leg day. Anyways, let's zoom in and take a closer look at the face plates and its apps. So zooming in right here, I'm quite content with how the face looks. It resembles Broly very much so. Hopefully you guys can see what I was getting at with the nose though. Again, it's not bad, just very sharp, kind of like a bird beak. 
The hair is very well done as well. It didn't come out looking green like toxic waste like some of the other Broly figures out there. Rather, it's just what it needs to be, which still enough contrast in it to have actual, you know, character to it. Not like it's just like a bush sitting on his head. Overall, guys, if you're looking at this figure's ability to serve as the definitive depiction of full power Broly from Dragon Ball Super, I give this figure a solid 10 out of 10. Yes, we do need a whole separate figure for his other forms, but rightfully so, as if Wrath Broly does have some difference in muscle mass, it would make sense that this full power Broly would need a bigger mold. We'll see for sure when we do get Wrath Broly in hand, but as far as right now, I think this figure is the end all be all for the latest iteration of Broly's maximum power. Very well done. Now in terms of articulation, the figure moves very well for its size, and with the help of the larger feet, it can actually stand in more poses compared to the original. Perhaps the only lacking part on the torso's articulation is just the back, because of the hugeness of this plating here. He can't really bend backwards too much, not big of a deal because I mean he has quite a bit of ab crunch even enough so you can actually see his shoes to make up for that. Now to me the highlight of the articulation on this figure comes in the form of the robe. And I mean articulation on the robe is nothing new or brand new to a Broly figure in general but they really innovated the back piece here and threw a hinge in there, if you could see that. I mean, it looked kind of weird if you just pose him like a peacock like that. Though I'm sure most of you won't, this allows us to get a little bit more dynamic range in our poses here so that I can, so that I can actually bend his leg and not have it be hindered by the rope. So great job innovation wise there. Again, the biggest shortcoming with regards to the 2.0 body articulation is just the fact that if you have this guy posed aiming for like a forwards on dash, he can't really give you that because he lacks the back extension. The ball joint is limited for that. So in terms of the hands and faces we get, it's just the same as any other Brawly, but we have, of course, the neutral face, the smirk or smile, and the angry power-up face, all of which are unanimous in quality among them. I mean, they do a really great job of capturing the moment you're trying to portray with these, and I think the addition of a face with a little bit more of a squint in the eyes as an in-between would have been the perfect thing to throw in. And on top of that, another face they really should have thrown in here is one where he just emerges in full power transformation with the glowing red eyes. Kind of a critical one to miss in my opinion, but again, I'm not complaining here, at least the basic bases were covered. Now with regard to the hands, we get the same amount as previous Broly figures here, and that's being three pairs. The fists, the grappling hands, and slightly more open, blast or martial arts if you want to call them that, hands. These are very well done themselves, and I mean just my favorite pair of hair probably has to be these open blast slash martial arts style hands and get the camera to focus up there. I think the amount of detail that they threw into these hands is quite impressive. I mean they could have just put kind of like default effort and have them come up kind of like chubby looking and whatnot but they really did a great job here like they actually look like you know actual hands with grooves and everything and fingernails. Overall, I'm happy, and perhaps the only shortcoming on this second coming of Brawly into the line is he doesn't come with any accessories like the OG. However, I think what we're about to get with Wrath Brawly quite makes up for that. So speaking of the OG, I got them side by side here, and without a doubt, as much as a fan of the OG Brawly as I still am, this new Brawly crushes the OG, clearly. Yes, I do miss the gold chain on this guy and the large blue jewels and the gauntlets and whatnot, but this new Broly just shows that as minimalistic as the upper body is compared to this guy, it still works and just blows the competition out the water. Even the saturation level on the colors and the overall sharpness of the muscle tone and face are better than the OG. I think though the lower bodies are kind of an apples and oranges situation as the OG Broly rocks the baggier pants which actually, you know, from the look of them aside from the lack of shading and all, not bad for what they are, and the OG captures the look of OG Broly very well. And this new Broly does Super's version of Broly very well too, just a little better. Overall, the OG just looks kind of washed out compared to the new Broly. Now, compared to the 2018 event exclusive Broly, it's a slightly different story. Yes, this new version of Broly is a much more relevant and flashier figure overall, but I feel like this Broly still holds its ground in being a very solid representation of a classic era within Dragon Ball Z and still wears the crown in my opinion for OG Broly's in general. All in all, if I could only get one of these guys, it would probably still be this guy just because he's more of a nostalgic pull to me, but for you guys, I'd recommend going with this guy right here, no doubt. 
Okay, so there you have it guys, my review on the Dragon Ball Super Full Power Broly. At first, I thought I wasn't going to be as excited about this figure, but man, did that ever change the moment I unboxed this guy. I think Tamashi killed it with their execution of this figure, and I can't wait to bring you guys my top 5 poses on him. I'm also super hyped for Wrath Broly this year, I really think that's going to be the figure of the year for me guys. But anyways, what did you guys think of the review? Do you have this figure? Are you planning on getting him? If not, I say don't wait, pull the trigger, he's worth every penny. It's a great addition to any collection. Anyways guys, you know what I always say, be the best you today's, be the worst of your tomorrows. Peace.